Welcome back, guys. We are here with another seasoned expats review, this time of the Hilton Higaron Hotel outside of Malaga, Spain. This hotel is located directly between Fuengirola and Malaga, Spain. It is about 15 to 20 minutes from the Malaga airport. Actually, very easy to get to, and there are several Ubers around in case you don't have a ride. This hotel is part of the Curio Collection by Hilton, and it actually has a brand new wing that was built just a couple years ago. That's the wing that we stayed in, in our King Lero suite, which is one of the biggest rooms that you can get at this hotel. After a room tour, we can take you on a quick tour of the rest of the hotel, including the spa, pools, and dining facilities. All right, and here is the King Lero suite. As you can see, it's pretty spacious. It has a large California King bed. Don't mind the messy sheets. This was obviously used. Uh, we just made up the bed again, so room service hasn't been in here yet. Then of course you have a desk and a soaking tub. You have a large sofa. It does not pull out into a bed, uh, but it is large enough for somebody to sleep on sideways. And of course you have these big Glorious windows with amazing views. The same views that we get upstairs, which you'll see in just a second. All right, so coming over to the bed, this is a big California king. It is a very, very spacious bed. Um, I mean, you could honestly fit four people on this thing. On either side of the bed are several different light switches, which operate, operate the lights throughout as well as the mood lighting. You also have the reading light, the backlight, and the actual reading light. And that's on either side of the bed. You also have a USB cord and then an EU plug on either side of the bed. You also do have these nice nightstands on both sides of the bed as well, so you can put your phone or anything else on there. Going from the bed over to the desk area, it's very spacious. I actually did some work here when we were staying here. And of course it has the outlets you need as well as two USB ports. You do have a TV in this room. It is a smart TV. You can get on YouTube, the internet, anything you really need to, uh, your Netflix as well. So that's very convenient. Another nice feature of this area is this vanity mirror which it is a just a mirror, but if you want to sit here and do your makeup, you can also turn on the light and be lit up. Walking now into the wardrobe and bathroom area, don't mind the towels and bathrobes. You do get two bathrobes when you get this room, so those will be available to you uh, as well as slippers. So you have this massive wardrobe. It's built into a couple different compartments. The first one, uh, you can hang items here, but you also have an iron, an ironing board, as well as two small drawers. In the second compartment here is where you'll hang all of your clothes. You have a small luggage rack, as well as plenty of hangers for all of your shirts and pants. And then in this last compartment, you have some extra bedding in case you need it, um, as well as a safe. And then you also have the coffee maker, as well as different types of coffees and teas, a small fridge, and a hair dryer. This fridge does come fully stocked, as you can see, with beers, juices, waters, alcohol, and some snacks. But these don't come with the room. You have to pay for them. Coming from the wardrobe now, over to the bathroom area, you can see you have a nice dual vanity with shelving underneath and the double mirrors, both with lights on them. You also have overhead lighting, so this is all very well lit. And then on either side, you have two very important things. In this little vestibule is your toilet and small bidet. And then on the other side of the vanity is the vestibule with your shower. 
And now this, you have a large rainfall shower as well as the handheld shower in there. So just like the tub, you operate this with the two buttons, one for the hand washer and one for the overhead rainfall shower. And then you set your temperature wherever you want, which is nice because you can set it and leave it there for your whole trip. And then of course, the most important part is upstairs. And if someone were to ask you why you would get a suite like this, this is the answer. This balcony is equipped with absolutely everything you would need to have a great day out in the sun. You've got your bali bed, you've got your jacuzzi, and then you've also got a little shaded area to sit down. Isn't that view just spectacular? And then you've also got the ocean. You might also be thinking, hey, why do I need a jacuzzi in the south of Spain? Well, to be honest, we've actually made a lot of use of it, especially in the evenings when it cools down. You can also completely change the temperature of these jacuzzis as well. So if you don't want to sit in 104 degrees, turn it down. We were able to book this hotel room at a rate of 350 euros per night, which is actually very cheap for this type of hotel room. This was with our honors discount, and we also booked well in advance. Around the high season, you can expect to pay closer to 450 euros for a flexible rate for this room, or if you join Hilton Honors, you can get up to a 20 euro per night discount. We would definitely recommend it if you're staying in this room. We would also like to note that the layout of our room is the exact same as a King Premium room, only without the terrace. This room retails closer to 250 euros a night. It might be more affordable for somebody trying to travel in luxury while also on a budget. For just a twin or king guest room with a sea view, you can expect to pay closer to 200 to 220 euros per night. Our first impressions of this hotel were great. For getting this suite, we were also offered a complimentary bottle of champagne on our arrival and also two free drink tickets. It is worth noting though, that we did have our original room, 1819, for only one night. It was quite windy out, and that room is located near an emergency exit, which unfortunately turned into a wind tunnel in the middle of the night, and we just could not get any sleep. There's also a large spa located in this resort, which includes jacuzzi treatments, a spa circuit in a dynamic pool with pressure jets and different temperature pools, and then of course they also offer massages. Catherine actually got one of these massages and said it was a very good experience. It cost about 62 euros for her massage. Outside of the spa pool, there are several other pools that guests are able to access, including an indoor pool and a couple outdoor pools. There are also small wading pools outside by the Bali beds, as well as an infinity pool on the roof. This infinity pool also offers Bali beds that you can rent, as well as a fully stocked bar. However, to get one of these beds upstairs, you need to put down a 50 euro deposit, which can be used towards drink and food purchases at the bar. Another thing worth mentioning about the location of this hotel is that it is very high up on a hill. You have to walk down about 20 minutes to get to the beach, or you can take the free shuttle. The walk down is actually rather treacherous. It's down a nearly 20% grade the entire time. We almost found ourselves slipping on the pavement stones, even in very dry conditions. It's also worth noting that the shuttle service does not come around nearly enough. The shuttle pickup and drop off points only occur about every hour, and there is a two hour break in the middle of the day, and they only go through about six o'clock at night. If you know anything about Spanish culture, it's that things don't even start to pick up until about 7 or 8 o'clock at night, making this very inconvenient if you want to take the train or go down to the beach. We also took advantage of the breakfast that is offered by the hotel. It is a buffet-style breakfast, but they do have just about everything you would need, including pastries, fruits, 
vegetables, an omelet station, many different types of eggs and meats, and they even offer a couple of different Andalusian specialties for breakfast. The dining area for breakfast is rather large and is actually part of the Med restaurant, which also offers dinner. There are two other restaurants located in this resort. Overall, we had a fantastic stay. The room was great, the terrace was beautiful, and the location was awesome. Even though we had one bad night, we were offered a complimentary bottle of champagne again at the end of our stay, which was very welcome. For the most part, the staff was friendly, although if you brought up an issue to the front desk, sometimes it felt like they were being a bit dismissive. However, the additional bottle of champagne made up for that in the end. All of the other hotel staff and spa staff were extremely friendly. If we ever find ourselves in Malaga again, we will seek out this hotel. Thanks for joining us on this journey. See you next time. Bye.